Riverside County is getting ready to move back into the state's most restrictive purple tier tomorrow. That's right, gyms, places of worship, and other businesses now forced to shut down their indoor operations once again. Kick on is Nicole Comstock with more tonight. Well, it's both difficult and costly for these businesses to move outside if they even can. Others have no choice but to close. It's the last night for a lot of activities in Riverside County. Hello. The last time for people to see a movie inside the AMC 16 theater in Riverside. This couple hadn't heard that coronavirus case rates here have worsened so much that this week the county slid back into the most restrictive tier on the state's reopening plan. I thought things were getting better. Ordering movie theaters, restaurants, gyms, and churches to move outside or shut down again by Friday at noon for at least three weeks. Are you glad now that you came tonight to see it? Yeah, I didn't know the theaters were going to close. Oh, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> now we have the structure back up. It went up today and we moved all the tables back outside. But this shade structure that turns the parking lot at Norco's original pancake house into an outdoor patio is costing the family restaurant $900 for installation and $1,400 per month to rent. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Owner Megan Kikugawa tried other solutions the last time they were forced to stop serving people inside, but says intense wind here kept blowing their easy ups away. It's been really complicated, um, very confusing. Obviously, business suffered a lot when we went to takeout only. She's hoping they'll be able to move back inside soon and that her loyal customers who had meals outside in 105 degree heat this summer will still be hungry this weekend. Unfortunately, that's when we might have the first rain of the season. Hopefully, you know, we're just crossing our fingers um, for, for no rain this weekend, but that's all we can all we can really do at this point. Riverside County says it wants to get back to the red tier as soon as possible. So they're encouraging people to continue getting tested for coronavirus. Right now, they're not meeting the state's requirements for daily tests. In Riverside, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.